Hello, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. There are a few outdated beauty rules that we really should break. When I was younger, I always thought that to be loved, you had to obey the rules. But now that I'm a grown-up, I realize that some rules are made to be broken when they don't apply to you and when they don't hurt anyone. That's what's so great about life over 60. You know, when you get to reach our age, or even my age, we've been around for quite a long time, haven't we? And uh, I am so tired of having to follow rules that someone else has set up and made for me. Because I think by now we really know what's right for us. And, you know, heck with the rules. We really don't have to follow the rules because we're all unique and we're all independent and we can do whatever we want to do. So today, I don't know whoever made up these rules, but I think they are absolutely out of date and false. And let me start with the first one. I have a list here in front of me, so I'm going to read them off. Uh, you shouldn't wear berry or bold shades of lipstick in the summer. Hogwash. I think bold lipstick, berry lipstick, it's seasonless. You absolutely just do not have to wait until the winter to wear some type of bright, bold lipstick. So that is absolutely false. False. Baja. <laughs> it's not, it's not true. All right. The second one is uh, women over 60 shouldn't wear lip gloss. Well, hello. I wear lip gloss all the time. Now, I know some women like matte lipstick and they like that look, but I have always liked a little bit of gloss and a little bit of glimmer on my lips. So I absolutely are not going to follow that rule. It is false and outdated for sure. The third one is women with light eyes should only wear brown mascara. What? I never heard such a thing in my life. It used to be that way. I know when I was a teenager, I would always go to the drugstore and look for brown mascara because I had blonde hair and light eyes. Well, that's not true. Black is back. <laughs> I wear black mascara all the time. I don't even look at brown mascara anymore. So whoever made up that crazy rule way back when, you know, get over it. And uh, I have light eyes and I certainly am going to continue to wear my black mascara. The next one, women who have pale skin shouldn't wear bold blush, whether it's in the pink or peach family. Bah humbug. I think when you wear a nice blush, you, you don't want to look like a clown, but when you wear a nice colorful blush, it makes you look alive. When you have pale skin, that's really hard. And especially with me, I have pale skin, I have pale eyes, I have pale hair. And if I didn't wear a little bit of bold blush, I, I, I would look like a, a skeleton. You know, I would just be all one, or a ghost. I would be all one color. So it's absolutely false. It's absolutely outdated that if you have pale skin, of course, you can wear bold blush in some type of a peachy or peach color. So go for it. Bah humbug. The next one. Women over 50 should wear lip liner that exactly matches their lipstick. No, that is false. I think it's really attractive when you have a lip liner, maybe that's just a little bit different shade. It's in the same family, but it's a little darker and a little different shade from what you have on your lips. It gives your lips a definition, and I really like that look. So whoever made up that look way back in the Stone Age, it's false and outdated. Absolutely 100% in my book anyway. 
The next one is if you have blue eyes, you can't wear blue eyeshadow. Well, that's not true because they're all different shades of blue. I have green eyes. I don't have blue eyes, but my daughter has blue eyes. And oftentimes she wears navy. She wears different shades of blue that go well with her blue eyes. So it's absolutely false. Today they have so many different shades of blue that are so compatible with beautiful blue eyes. And there's nothing prettier than have those, those beautiful, clear, crystal blue eyes. So false, 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 bah, humbug. It's absolutely not true at all. All right. Your eyebrows have to match your hair. False, not true. I think some of the most attractive women that I've ever seen have gray hair, but they have their dark eyebrows. I think that is ex an exotic and stunning, stunning look. Now, my eyebrows are light. I dye them um, a little dark brown, but I certainly am not going to walk around with gray eyebrows. Uh, I want my eyebrows to be just a little bit darker because it gives me contrast with my light eyes, my light hair, my light skin. I need a little bit of contrast in my eyebrows. And as I said before, I love the look of a beautiful, thick, dark brow with maybe white or, or graying hair. It's just so, so attractive in my book. So, False, bah humbug, out of date, 100% in my book. The another, another one, and this has to do with fashion. Remember in the days where if you wore a gold necklace, everything, you had to have a gold bracelet, a gold ring. You would have to wear two gold necklaces. You couldn't mix the metals. Well, that's wrong. I think it's just today you can wear silver and gold together, and it's just fine. So that, to me, is false, way out of date. And you can mix gold and silver together whenever you are wearing, you know, pairing necklaces or whatever. You can really do that. And another thing that used to be such a no-no was to wear white after September 1st, after Labor Day. I can remember when I was a teenager, we always would say, you know, after Labor Day, you can't wear white. Well, thank heavens that that has changed because today you can wear white in winter, winter white. All year long you can wear white. So that is false. That's way outdated. And thank heavens that's one of the rules that we don't have to even think about anymore. Now, I know you may have some outdated rules that you remember or that you can think of. So in your comments, let me know what outdated rules that you think are not not applicable today, that are not applicable today. <laughs> rules that were dated, outdated way back when. So that is my video for today. Uh, not very long, but I just had to get that off my mind because I think there are a lot of times that people tell us what we have to do, and by golly, at our age, we don't have to have people tell us what to do or how to put on our makeup or what colors are good for us. We know ourselves and we know what we like and let's go for it. Whatever it is, you embrace your own unique self. And one thing I have to add is don't forget your ideas matter your point of view matter, your sense of style matters, and if you don't express your unique views, the world has lost something very special. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I love each and every one of you, honestly, honestly, honestly. I read all of your comments and I enjoy them so much. Please be kind to yourself today and really be good to someone that passes you, crosses your path, and of course, don't forget to share the love. And thank you for joining me today on this journey. And I hope to see you in my next video. Take care and I hope to see you soon.